Welcome to Quest 64. We are we have entered the world of Mammon. Shannon has been duping us the entire time, and she just handed over the Elatail book like it was nothing. Oh my gosh. Our father is gravely injured back in Belgis' castle, and we are fighting giant statues of judgment. That is just great. Large cutter. I large cutter all of you. Um, whoa, I don't want to be standing too close to you guys, apparently. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Ow, I, I thought you, oh, you didn't go first? I thought you always go first. Whatever. Uh, Judgments have a couple of attacks, obviously. They have rock level 3. They also have, I think they used fire pillar. Yep, oh my gosh, 58 attack. They also have Rock Shower to guarantee a hit in on us. Uh, fortunately, they don't physically move around, so if you, you you know you have a much better chance of surviving if you stay at a distance, which is what we're gonna have to do for the for the rest of these battles. That's the only other door that we've seen because we kind of just came in mysteriously from the other one. The, these these backgrounds make absolutely no sense at all, so. We're just gonna have to figure out something. Where's this? Is there like a stairway or something? Here we go. And there's a big. I don't want. It's a giant. It looks like a giant shrimp. Run away, Ryan. You're scaring. It's scary. I need to heal before anything else happens. Oh my. Oh my gosh. That guy just hurt me for like 70 HP. Ow. Now let's enter the door to somewhere else. This is a. Uh, a particular room. Um, there's nothing in here. There is literally nothing in here. You ha all you can do is just run around and go to the other door. Um, currently, our agility is at 30% experience. So let's see if navigating all the way to the other side actually boosts us up or not. I don't know what the the purpose of this room is. I honestly don't know. My guess is it's just more of like a scare tactic. It's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what if there's something over here? What if there's something over there? What if there's something in between? What if I'm going the wrong way? Uh, at least you can use it to just heal up, restore your, your magic if you need to. Um, although we're fine now, I believe. So, nothing too much to worry about. It's just a little, actually it winds up being more annoying than anything else being in this room and having to run all the way around it. But, you know what, there are worse things, like that last room. So, you know, I'm gonna, t I'm not gonna worry about it too much. So after running for about a minute, uh, has our XP gone up? Ooh, 38%, how exciting. That's kinda like the bridge in, uh, Bar what, what the? What? What? Isn't this the Princess Flora's bedroom? Or her, like, her, her living quarters? Can we go? No, there's nothing over here. Okay. Um. And why is this this, like, weird purple haze? Oh, shooting in my mind. Or, man, why can't I even. What the? Now we're somewhere else? <laughs> Brian. Oh my gosh, this world is messed up. Uh, oh, there's a door up there. Run to the door, Brian. No, statues await. Oh, boy. Yeah, so the one on the left actually goes first. I did not notice that the last time we, we fought them. Uh, fortunately, the... They can... Ow. Fortunately, Wind Cutter actually hurts them a good amount. Uh, let's try using Avalanche. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Um... It's not doing a super job. Although it does hurt, if it does hit multiple times, it hurts him. But it doesn't hurt him for each each individual time by itself. Doesn't isn't isn't doing a whole lot. So, uh, fortunate. Ah, <laughs> Giant rocks are scary. Okay. Whew. So with any luck, we'll get another uh, spirit before we. You know, for anything else, uh, we might get up to 350 HP. If we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. It's not, not you know, nothing too urgent. Uh, we might get up to 70 MP, which would be nice. 
but again, anything really 60 and above is gonna do is gonna do enough for me. Sorry, my mic. Uh, screensaver just went out again, and now we have blue ogres, who are known as Spriggins. Spriggins, uh, Brian. He tried to throw. What he did right there was he tried to throw a punch. This is actually one of the few enemies in the in, in the game in the end of the game that has a physical attack. So obviously, a uh, magic barrier isn't gonna hurt him very much, but fire definitely does. Ha ha ha! Whew. Okay. This place is just getting more and more confusing as we go. My gosh. And now we're in a weird foresty thing. One thing I would recommend. No, do not go backwards. I've oh my gosh! So we have okay. These shrimp things are pinheads. Uh, oh, rock, rock of massive powerfulness, save me! Ow! Now you're hurting me like I normally hurt enemies. That's not good. Always. Um, fortunately, I don't think these guys have a lot of HP. And if you were close enough, they will resort to just their physical attack, which is fortunate. Um, yeah, I'll just use another spirit light. Because I don't know how much longer this battle is going to take. Oh my gosh. I, I, I really can't tell like when when it's gonna do a physical attack and when they're gonna try and use a fireball level three. It, it seems kind of fifty fifty. Although this one seems to prefer physical attack, so it's probably good that I left this one for last. Uh, and of course, Judgment's just gonna keep uh, throwing rocks at us. Ow! I was totally running into the uh, trying to just run into the pinhead because that was so smart of me. Ooh. Judgment or oh, fireworks on those judgments things really well, and I learned a lot of uh, spirit XP from that thing as well too. So, you know, definitely take the time to battle these creatures, even though they are gonna kill you. But, you know, that's just the way it goes out here. Uh, okay, we've only got two of these guys. We should be okay. Yeah, fire seems to be doing an excellent job on these things. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Despite the fact that they also use fire pillar, um, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I would recommend you keep your distance to stay alive. And fortunately, if you're like at the perfect distance where fire pillar is, where it thinks you can use it can use fire pillar on you, but you can't, but it can't. You can you can run away from it if your agility is just high enough. So. Fortunately, you know you can use that as well too. I hope this is is a different door. Um, now we're in somebody's house. These look like the rich houses in Limlin or the ones that back down in Brannock. Is there anybody here? Hello? Any goodies for me to pilfer like last time? Hello? All you married couples who sleep in separate beds like. Lucy and Ricky, hello. Anything in the fireplace? No, Brian says no. Oh man, this is creepy. Or I was half expecting, I was expecting like the place to be suddenly different by the time I come downstairs. But all right, let's just go. Let's just go. See where we. Are. Oh no! Don't tell me we're here again. No, this is different. Okay. There's again another door down this way. Except this. The walls out here are different for some reason. Oh my gosh, this place is just so good. No battles over here in this region. No, I spoke too soon. Oh boy, try judgments. Try judgments. Oh no, ouchies, ouchies, ouchies. Um, what do I want to do? I don't know. I don't know nothing. Fire pillar or fire bomb is not the most effective weapon at this point in the game. Um, yeah, I'll just keep using a uh, fire pillar or fireball. Alright, fireball. Three, go! Toast. You guys are toast. Toast can be yummy. 
One thing I've discovered is that I don't eat nearly as much bread as I used to, which is probably a good thing. Well, except when it comes to like, well, I, I just had Taco Bell. So, how many times have I said that now? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Anyway, um, whew, that battle could have gone a lot worse. I'll say that for sure. Um, let's just keep barreling through the world of Mammon. Uh, we might, like I said, how, ooh, we're definitely close to another spirit, which will be, that'll be useful. Um, again, I'll probably just, wait. Are we, okay, we're doing this foresty thing again, but it's a little different. The background is different. There's, it's daytime-ish thing, or whatever this world perceives as daytime. I don't know how to describe it correctly. Ow. All right, Mr. Pinhead, you're going down. I, I've had I've had about enough of you, Mr. Pinhead. Please, physical attack, physical attack, yeah, physical attack. Whew. I, I never expected to be so happy about a physical attack. And of course, another giant rock, another physical attack. Whew. Oh man. All right, this way this is getting pretty intense. I admit. Ooh. So maybe the judgments only have about 300 HP. We should probably... Let's see here. We have learned Soul Searcher level 2. We might have learned that last level. I'm actually not sure. Um, I might do some... No, no, no. What am I talking about off-screen training? No, we are going to finish this end here. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're not doing any more off-screen training. I don't think we even can at this point. We're just going to have to keep going and going and going. And now we're in Killian's pirate ship. The one that took us to Isle of Sky, remember? Oh, Jimmy Christmas. Yep, here's the down part, downstairs part. This was the part that led us to another room. And this room is exactly like the last one of its kind, where all we had to do is just run around and run around and run around and run around and maybe gain some agility. But again, I really don't see the purpose of this room other than to freak you out and to prolong our, you know, our, uh, what's that word? I can't even think of the word right now. Not indefinite. Of our, I don't know, we're doomed. We're doomed anyway. My gosh. This mammon must be one crazy person who had, who was very influenced by Greek architecture. My gosh. But this will be it. This Mammon is the final boss of this game. Everything. So either now that I have brought the Elletail book to Mammon and, and the Four Precious Stones, it's either him or me. All of Keltland rests in our hands, Brian. Or I guess in yours. That and your little quail thing on top of your head. No one will help you. Except maybe a Pona? Hi. <laughs> I've been waiting for you! This is the very last place where someone might come to your aid! From this point on, no one will be able to help you! So, you will rest now? What do you say? I say no, Apona! Although you can save the game there if you need to. Uh, where are okay our stats? Let's do it. Let's just go. Thank you, Apona. And we are in Mel Road. We are back in well, it's it's like it's Mel Road, but it's like jinxed or not jinxed Mel Road, but it's like dark Mel Road. I mean, here's the water, or here's the uh, ocean, but the water doesn't move. So it's it's like this place is entirely still. So, of course, you might ask yourself, you and you might ask yourself. Where is my beautiful house? And you may ask yourself, where the heck am I supposed to go in Mel Road? Well, you know, really there's no intuition. Well, there's kind of an intuition. Going back, looking back at your inventory, we have the Elletail book. If this were regular Mel Road, we would want to return it to its regular place. So, you know, the correct answer to this tiny puzzle is, Go try and go back to the monastery, even though you can't. Uh, Alright. I think 
We are getting close. We are getting close to our untimely demise. Is that, maybe that's the word I was thinking for earlier, untimely. No. Indub not indubitable. Ah, uh, whoa, horsies! Pale riders, right? Pale riders of the storm. And you guys heard a lot. Oh my gosh. And fire and wind is not effective on you guys. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this next door. Hopefully, if these guys ever attack. Yeesh. Avalanche. Avalanche, a whole lot of them. Avalanche seems to do a really good amount of damage, though, fortunately. So, Cyclone. Yes, please use Cyclone. Cyclone is a much weaker attack of yours. Ooh, yes, please use... Yes, 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 yes. Yes, horsies. Be a good horsey. And keep using Cyclone on me. That's right. Just sweep me up in your... Ness. Oh, man. Um, I don't... I'm sure there might be a couple other enemies that we have that we can encounter out here, but frankly, I don't want to stick around anymore and find out. So, uh, let's try, let's try getting through, let's try getting to that door over there. Hopefully we will, without any complication. Yes. And where the heck are we now? I don't know, but there's like four passageways down to nowhere. And here's Shannon again. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the video here, stop the video here. Next time, we will talk to Shannon. So this is Big Max saying, later.